Roswell Flight Test Crew, here today to take a look at the X Plus One from XCraft. Wow! This hybrid flying machine incorporates features of both a multi-rotor and a fixed-wing aircraft. To keep up with the latest on drones, be sure to click subscribe. So let's see what we got here. The first thing is a bag containing some paperwork. Let's set that aside for the moment. Okay, so underneath the styrofoam we have the aircraft in pieces. So some assembly is going to be required. So the first thing we find is the main wing. Now it's made of foam covered with a smooth plastic sheet to make it more aerodynamic. We've got motors on the tips of each of the wings and a GPS antenna hooked into the flight control system. So at least we'll have some help keeping this thing in the air. Notice that it's an asymmetric airfoil. So in forward flight, there's a definite up and down. Also, there aren't any control surfaces. So you're maneuvering using just the motors and differential thrust, just like a multi-rotor, even in forward flight. Underneath the wing, we have these two winglets, which X-Craft calls pylons. Each one has a motor at the wing tip, rounding out our quadcopter configuration. So here we have a nose cone for the aircraft, and this is a hard mount for a GoPro camera, which you can install in place of the nose cone. XCraft also makes a GoPro gimbal for the X Plus One, but unfortunately we didn't get one of those to test. This is the controller that comes with the unit. It's an old school hobby radio. Notice how the left stick stays where you put it on the throttle axis. This is the way all controllers used to work. Next we have the battery with an XT60 connector. It's a 5400 milliamp three cell battery. Venom drone, very nice. Here's the included battery charger, which comes with a power cord and a very brief instruction manual. Always remember, treat LiPo batteries with respect. Never leave a charging LiPo unattended. We get a total of eight propellers. We also get these adapter rings to ensure that the propellers fit snugly on the motor shafts. This is a 915 megahertz telemetry unit used to integrate the X Plus One into a ground control package, like Mission Planner or Q Ground Control. Here we have the hardware that will be required to assemble the aircraft and mount the propellers, as well as a cable for powering an FPV system, if you choose to install one. We also have an A to micro B USB cable for updating the aircraft firmware, and four AA batteries for the controller. So now let's take a look at those documents. We've got a welcome postcard, a quick start guide, an operations manual, and an addendum. Well, it looks like that's everything in the box. Now let's set it up. Always make sure your battery's fully charged before you go flying. Now, let's assemble the aircraft itself, starting by attaching the pylons to the main wing. Notice that the pylons are either black or white, and that tells you which side they go on. The black pylon goes on the black side of the aircraft, and the white pylon goes on the white side of the aircraft. The first step is to remove the orange plastic cover and pull out the wiring from inside the wing. Connect these to the corresponding wires from the pylon, making sure to connect red to red and black to black. Slide the pylon onto the black plastic spar making sure any excess wiring is tucked inside the cavity in the wing. Take one of the medium length black bolts and put a washer on it, then slide it through the pylon. Tighten with the included Allen wrench. Take one of the short black bolts and use it to attach the root of the pylon to the main wing. Once you've done that, repeat the process for the other pylon. Next up, we'll mount the propellers. There are a couple of things to be aware of here. First of all, notice that the spinners on the motors on the main wing are silver, but the ones on the pylons are black. This corresponds to the direction the motors turn. If you look very closely at the propellers, you will see that half of them are embossed with 10 by five, and the other half are embossed with 10 by five R. The numbers correspond to the 10 inch diameter of the propeller and its pitch. 
And what we're really most concerned about is that letter R. It stands for reverse, and the reverse propellers go on the pylons, and the ones without the R go on the main wing. If you get this wrong, your first flight will end in catastrophic failure, so be careful. But wait, there's more. If you take a propeller and put it on a motor shaft, you'll notice the hole is too big and it can move around. If you fly like this, it would induce massive vibration across the airframe and, once again, catastrophic failure. That's where these little adapters come in. Find the ones that fit snugly on the motor shaft, then install them onto your propellers. Mount the propellers on the correct motors and tighten down the spinner with a thin metal shaft, like this nail we found. All right, now we'll do the three other propellers. Now, let's install the nose cone. It just fits on top of the aircraft. And then you take the two long silver screws that came in the hardware kit and slide them through. Then, secure it with the supplied nut on the other side. Also, don't forget to install the AA batteries in your radio. So there we have it, the X Plus One, ready to fly. And I have to say, it's a sleek looking ship, like something that would come to the rescue of Buck Rogers in a 1950s serial. In an upcoming video, we're gonna test fly the X Plus One. So be sure to click subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Fly safe.